Barcelona, the most cosmopolitan and vibrant city in Spain. El Rambla. It is a famous pedestrian street that stretches from Plaza de Catalunya to the waterfront. It is lined with shops, restaurants, street performers, and has a lively atmosphere. Coming from the airport, here I made the first contact with the atmosphere of the city when I got off the subway at the Lyceu station. Walking along LA Rambla, we inevitably came across the Boqueria Square. It's a food lover's paradise, offering a wide variety of fresh produce, seafood and local delicacies. You can spend a few hours here without feeling the time running out. In terms of cuisine, Barcelona offers a diverse culinary scene, ranging from traditional Catalan dishes to international dishes. Don't miss to try some tapas with a glass of sangria. If you want to eat the best roast beef that you will never forget, you can find it at this restaurant. You can't see the exact size in the picture, but the steak has 600 grams and is for two people. An extraordinary culinary delight. Overall, Barcelona is a captivating city that blends history, art, culture, and beautiful surroundings. It offers a wealth of attractions and experiences that make it a popular destination for tourists from around the world. Right next to the Rambla, you find the Royal Square. The elegant ambience here is accentuated by the fountain, street lamps, palm trees, and is one of the busiest and most vibrant places in Barcelona, especially at night. an ideal area to relax and enjoy a coffee, a beer in one of the many cafes or restaurants in the company of street artists who will cheer up the atmosphere. Los Torontos. 
Also here you can find the oldest flamenco club in Barcelona where very famous artists perform. <laughs> The city's coastal location provides opportunities for relaxing on the beach, especially in the summer months. The Barceloneta Beach is the most popular beach in Barcelona, offering golden sand, clear waters, and a vibrant beachfront scene. From the platform of the National Art Museum of Catalonia, there is a remarkable view of part of the city, and of the Montjuic Magic Fountain. A huge circular fountain famous for its nighttime water and light, shows choreographed to music. Below in the background is the Spanish Square with the Venetian Towers and the National Palace. After a funicular climb to 512 meters high, Mount Tibidabo is the highest hill in the Serra de Colcerola mountain range. The hill is located on the outskirts of Barcelona, and is very popular due to the unique views of the city. The hill itself is visible from practically anywhere in Barcelona. At the top of the mountain there is a church, Iglesia del Sagrat Cor, and an amusement park. Tibidao is a pleasant place to visit, and two hours is enough. On the return descent with the funicular, you can get off at the middle station and explore the area. We didn't film, but it's a beautiful, quiet area, and where we felt very good. Another place at a height from where you can see Barcelona is the Manchic Castle a fortress from the 17th century. Some consider it an essential place to visit, but in our opinion there is not much to see and do here. You can uselessly waste a quarter of a day to come here. If you have nothing better to do, that's okay too. Sagrada Familia is a grand construction in its complexity. A church started in 1882 surrounded by the eternal cranes that spoil your photos. Those who are willing to visit it inside, 
must arm themselves with the patience to stand in line. Another place to see in Barcelona is Park Güell. You have a good chance to see it just from the street. Entrance tickets are limited even if you tried to book two days in advance. The Passe de Luis Company's promenade is a beautiful place to walk. It starts with the Arc de Triomphe and ends in the Ciutadella Park where we will go immediately. Ciutadella Park is an idyllic place and Barcelona's greenest oasis. Here you can relax with a picnic, long walks on foot or by boat on the pond. 